In this lesson, we are going to be looking at the solution to question 4A, a typical trigonometry measurements and geometry question on the May uh, 2012 CSEC math exam. Now here we have the diagram below, not drawn to scale, shows the cross section of a prism in the shape of a sector of a circle, center O and radius 3.5 centimeters. The angle at the center is 270 degrees. Now here they have given us a, a very important piece of information, U spy is equal to 22 over 7, all right? Now let's just, let's just look at it guys. Now here they gave us the angle at the center, all right? And let's just identify that angle. They're speaking about this angle here and I'm just marking it right now in black, okay? So this angle here, they said that it was 207, well, they gave it to us to be 270 degrees. And that simply makes sense because angle at the center must sum to 360. So if out here is 90 degrees, then if you should add 90 to 270, then that would give us a total of 360 degrees. Now here in part one, they're asked a part a, a part one rather, they're asking us to calculate the length of the arc. A, B, C. Now, what do they mean by the arc? They're speaking about this distance here. From this point here, an arc is a part of the circumference, okay? And if you notice, this is not a complete circle. We have a part of it here that is missing. So the arc A, B, C would be this distance here, this portion of the circumference. And let me just change the pointer. Okay, this portion here from A and we're coming all around, okay? All around and we're stopping at C. Okay, so that's the distance they're, they're asking us to calculate. Now, from earlier lessons, we would have learned that the length of an arc, arc length, okay, is the same as the length of an arc. So I'm just going to simply for short say arc length must be equal to theta upon 360, upon 360 times the circumference okay because this the 2 pi r okay this this would make sense because um really 2 pi r is the distance of the entire circle which is the circumference but if you notice we only need a part of it so that would be theta which is the angle that is given okay over 360 so we only need a fraction of the total all right so here now guys we're going to substitute with the 270 we're going to remove theta and substitute 270 all upon 360 and that is being multiplied by 2 times pi which they gave us to be 22 22 upon 7 okay and that is being multiplied by my radius which is 3.5 and the radius is from the distance from the center of the circle here which is O to any point touching the circumference so for example from O to C which is 3.5 now to calculate this, if this is giving you a bit of trouble to calculate, I'm just going to show you an easy way. Since we have a fraction here in 270 upon 360, I'm just going to simply turn my 2 into a fraction by putting it over 1. We already have a fraction here in pi, so I'm just simply going to turn my 3.5 into a fraction also by putting it over 1. Now, a simple calculation is we can just multiply out our numerators and then also multiply out our denominators and in the end just divide okay it is as easy as that so let me just rewrite it in that way so that you can see it a bit clearer i'm going to say 270 and that is being multiplied by the next numerator which is 2 times my 22 times my 22 and that is being multiplied by my 3.5 okay and i'm just say, simply say i'm just going to put all of this upon 360, 360, and I'm multiplying that by all of my denominators, okay, times 7, times 1, all right, if you notice, I've multi I'm multiplying all of the denominators, now simply, my friends, we are just, I'm just going to pull out our calculator, and just multiply out the top, and let's see what we would have gotten for that, Oh, oops, just, just, let's just pull it over here. Here, let's just clear that. We have 270, 270 in my numerator, and that is being multiplied by 2, and that is being multiplied by 22, and that is being multiplied by 3.5, 3.5, and all of that is equal to 41,580. So my numerator amounts to 41,000, 41,000. 580 okay now let's see 
what our denominator comes to all right so let's pull back up our calculator now here in our denom let's just clear this in our denominator we have 360 times 1 times 7 times 1 however you know you should know by now that any any number multiplied by 1 is itself so i'm just going to multiply 360 by 7 and it doesn't matter because we would get the same thing if we multiply by the ones all right so i'm just simply going to say 360 multiplied by 7 and i should get a 2520 there as i have there so let's just put that in quickly 2520 all right and this is obviously now equal to and this is easy to just divide out now my friends hope you're seeing that i'm simply just going to say for 41,000 41,580 and i'm just going to divide that by 2520 all right and that should be equal to 16 16.5 and my units are very important it's in centimeters so this would be our answer for part one okay this is part one so let's just make a note there now let's quickly move on to part two let's go up top so part two now they are asking us to calculate the perimeter of the sector OABC. Now the word perimeter means the total distance traveled around an object or the total distance that bounds the object. All right. So for example, if you notice, we had just calculated the length of the arc, which is A to C. Now we need to find the length of O to A, this distance here, and then from O to C, and we are going to add the three lengths to get the perimeter, the total distance. That's simply what we're doing. It's pretty much that easy. So let's just make some quick notes here. Uh, perimeter of, let's just make a quick note, perimeter, perimeter, perimeter of O, A, B, C must be equal to and I'm just going to put it here. Let's just work it out here since we're running out of space over there. We have just found the length of the arc, O, B, C, from O straight around to C in magenta there, that rose pink. So we found that. So we're going to simply say the le arc length. That's what, we, that's what we, we called it initially. So let's just make a note of that. So we're going to say the perimeter of O, A, B, C is the arc length arc length plus plus the radius if you notice o to c is a radius and o to a is another radius so we have two radii all right so it's the arc length plus r and we already established that r is the distance o to a plus another r which is the distance from o to c okay and we we, we would have already learned from earlier lessons that any two radii must be of the same length okay so let's just do some quick substitutions we can simply say the arc length we have found it here to be 16.5 so i'm just going to substitute that 16.5 this is a 0.5 plus my radius r plus r this would give me a 2r let's just work the little algebra there so i have a 16.5 plus two times my radius and the radius it was given it's 3.5 so that's two times 3.5 let's just substitute that for r okay and i've gotten it here the radius is 3.5 so here my friends we have 16.5 plus two times 3.5 we know that's a seven okay so this will give us this will further give us a 16.5 plus seven that looks like a 23 point five centimeters so our perimeter is a total of 23.5 centimeters and that's the total distance from a all around b straight up to c and then we come across to the center and then we go up back at a that total distance that's what we have just calculated okay now quickly let's look at part three let's just pull this up a bit i think maybe we'll need a little bit more space to work with okay i think that should be good enough now in part C, in part C they're asking us the area of the sector O, A, B, C. Now quickly again, part three, let's just make a quick note of that. Area, the area, area of sector, sector must be 
Well, this is equal to, don't have the space over there, so I'm just going to write it here. Again, it's theta upon 360, upon 360, and I'm going to multiply that by the area of the circle. And the area of a circle is pi r square. Okay, so to calculate the area of the sector, we could simply say, guys, theta, which is 270, they gave that to us, 270, all upon 360, 360, and that is being multiplied by pi, which is 22 upon 7, okay, times my radius, which is 3.5. And if you notice, it's 3.5 squared, so it simply means 3.5 is being multiplied by 3.5, all right? Now, let's quickly get into this. Again, we can just simply turn that into a fraction, turn that into a fraction, and we can just multiply out our numerators, okay? So let's just pull up our calculator quickly. Now let's pull the calculator over here, okay? Now, clear this. So we have 270. 270 and that is being multiplied by 22 22 and that is being multiplied by 3.5 and that is being multiplied again by 3.5 and that is equal to 72,765 so that's what we're going to have here 72,765 72,765 so that's what we have in our numerator now in our denominator we have 360 times 7 times 1 times 1 which is pretty similar to what we had worked over here in part 1 so we know that 360 times 70 that will work out automatically to 25 20 as we had calculated there okay guys hope you're seeing that so I'm just going to divide my numerator by my denominator and I'm going to say, let's just bring up back the calculator I'm going to say 72,765 now is being divided by 25 20 and that is equal to 28.875 that is equal to 28 28 point eight seven five this is a seven and they ask for the area so it's it must be in centimeters centimeters square okay let's check if they had asked us to calculate it correct to any amount of decimal points no they didn't say so we can simply leave it at that okay so pretty much it's that easy feel free to uh, to leave a comment or ask a question if you're not sure and we'll get back to you as soon as possible bye bye